All right, we are on the June 2012 exam, page 11. These are the show your work problems. We're going to do questions 60 through 65. 60 and 61, start off with uh, a circuit, a 15 ohm resistor and a 20 ohm resistor connected in parallel with a 9 volt battery. A single amp meter is connected to measure the total current of the circuit. For two points, they want you in this answer booklet, Draw a diagram of this circuit using symbols from the reference table for physical settings. Assume the availability of any number of wires. See, you can get in so much trouble by saying that because you could draw a pretty hairy circuit using any number of wires. But let's go with a simple one. And they have negligible resistance. So we want a circuit with a 15 ohm resistor, a 20 ohm resistor, a 9 volt battery, and an amp meter. And if we go to our circuit symbols, we, uh, we have these things. An amp meter uh, has an A in it. A battery has a couple of these things in it. And a resistor is this squiggly wire. And so I want them in parallel. So uh, here would be the simplest way to do it. Set up your uh, battery. Set up, now let me see, uh, that wants the amp meter to measure the total current. So that's the next thing I want. Right out of this battery, I want an amp meter. That amp meter to tell me the current that's going to come out of the battery, that's all. And then I'm going to set up a couple little bus lines here. And across this one I can put one resistor. And I'm going to label it just because I can do that. Now let's see, 9 volts, 15 ohms, and this one would be 20 ohms. There we go. 15 and 20 ohms. It's parallel, which means they have multiple paths. Some current will go through this one. Some current will go through that one. Uh, I know that in parallel, the total resistance is going to be less than 15. And, um, and so I think I've just gotten two points. Okay, now what do they want? Calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit for two points. All right, well, uh, for two points, I'm going to start listing stuff. First thing I know is R1 is uh, 15 ohms, and R2 is uh, 20 ohms. And I want the equivalent resistance, or the total resistance, in a parallel circuit. So I come over here to my formula sheet in the electricity section, and uh, I go to the parallel circuits, and it tells me the equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So I write that equation. 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And, uh, you know, there's some people that will just add uh, 15 and 20 and, uh, and say it's 35. Now, if it was in series, that would be a correct answer. But you've got to do a little common denominator. Adding fractions is a little tricky. Uh, however, let's do this. Let's uh, write it up. 1 is uh, 1 over uh, equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over 15 ohms uh, plus uh, 1 over 20 ohms. I'm thinking 60 is going to be a common denominator. However, I don't really need to do it because my calculator has that button automatically. It's got the, uh, the x to the negative 1 button. Where's my reciprocal button on this thing? got to be here somewhere. Here it is. X to the negative 1 is the reciprocal. So watch what I'm going to do. Turn it on. Oh, my batteries are low. I'm going to say 15 X to the negative 1 plus 20 X to the negative 1 equals 0.11. Then I'm going to take the reciprocal of that. X to the negative 1 and it's 8.57. 8. 0.57 ohms. All right, that's going to be my answer. I'm pretty confident of that. We could have done it uh, the long way. Let's see, the common denominator would have been 60, so that would uh, that 60 would be 3 60ths plus uh, how many of these to go into 60? 2 30 so 4 60ths. So that equals 7. 
sixtieths, and that's equal to one over my equivalent resistance. So my equivalent resistance would be 60 divided by 7. And if I do 60 divided by 7, I get 8.57. Told ya. Told it. You didn't believe me. But there you go. Your calculator's uh, got some fancy buttons on it. Learn how to use your calculator. That's always useful. Questions 64 and 65 deal with this little picture. Base your answers here. 64, determine the wavelength of this wave. Where we're told from here, well, there's one wave, two waves, two and a half waves are eight meters. So eight meters is 2.5 waves. I want to know the wavelength, so I want to know the number of meters per wave. So I'm going to take eight divided by two and a half. Got a wavelength of 3.2 meters. So I'm going to write 3.2 meters. Meters is already written there. Determine the amplitude of this wave. This is a little tricky because it's going to tell you that a peak-to-peak -peak -peak amplitude is 1.2 meters. That means the distance from here plus the distance to there is 1.2 meters. However, it's kind of a vocabulary question. The vocabulary for amplitude is the displacement above or below the rest position. So in fact, it's gonna be half of that, or 0.6 meters. The amplitude for, and the correct answer for 65 is gonna be 0.6 meters. Hope you caught that. Didn't sucker into 1.2 meters. There you go. Well, that's page 11.